Hey guys, so I realized I have another box that's not too big, so I think I'm going to do this one as well today. If I can get to the other ones, I'll do the other ones as well. So the next box I'll be sharing with you guys is the bookish box, and I believe this is the October box. Again, shipping was delayed on almost every single box, so um, I'm not surprised. So here is their um, spoiler card. I just wanted to see if it has the month without looking at the spoilers, but I can't see a date. So anyways, here is their little spoilery thing. Um, and this is what you see. Oops, I forgot it's on the side. All right, so this is what you see on the inside. I see like a, like a book sleeve almost. Okay, so let's pull out the other things because I assume that's the book. So first thing is like a fabric thingy. Is this like a scarf? Okay, I think this is a scarf. I don't know a scarf of what, but it's really pretty. Like, really pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. I just have no clue what this is from. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. This stuff sounds so familiar. Um, why does it remind me of Gilmore Girls? I don't know. But anyways, we'll find out where it's from later on. The next thing in here... Oh, it's a necklace! Oh, it's a little... I had stuck, but I'm trying to, there we go. It's a little, like, knife or sword necklace. Oh, boy. But again, not going to want to. That's as much as it's going to focus, I think. But it's very cute. I love simple things like this. Um, so that is really, really cute. And it's inspired by Blood and Ash from Jennifer Armentrout. I actually have some of her books. So that's really neat. Next thing we have is um, a deck of cards. Yeah, card deck. It says, um, Cauldron Blessed. So, I'm not sure, again, what this represents or anything. I'm not going to open it, though, but there you go. I hope somebody else opens it so people can see what it is. Then we get a pin. It says, Some Ghosts Should Remain Good and Buried. It's like a little tomb casket thing here. There's flowers. It's very pretty. I mean, they did a good job on these. They're really nice items so far um not my favorite but they're nice i can't say anything negative about them um and then we get a candle i love that they wrap it up so well oh my goodness it's popping everywhere it says aileen galethian i can't even say that but it's from throne of bass obviously very cool it's like a white candle oh it's a wood burning one Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, I don't know how to explain it. It smells like caramel, like a caramel pastry or a coffee. Oh, it smells so good. I love these kind of candles. Um, that made me excited. Okay, so the last thing in here, I think it's just, the, oh no, there's more stuff. I thought I was dropping the lamp. So how do I move this so I can get everything else out? It's like all the way stuck on here. Okay, I got it. So we get this beautiful um, art print. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but it's like the author's letter. And then we get these two. Ooh, these are pretty. We get these two little character cards. I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I really like these. These are really beautiful. I didn't like their ones before i think these are new so um yeah these are really cool i like them and then the book oops sorry about that um this is one of the boxes where i was gonna get this i i knew there were two but i couldn't remember which ones they were so this is one of them so um another copy of this book but look how beautiful well i already know which one i'm gonna keep between this and the beacon one um, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And beautiful end pages like the other one. And it should be signed. <gasps> Look how beautiful the signature pages. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it has art. Oh, they included the art on the um, letter. Oh my gosh. This is probably my favorite edition. I don't know if the other one will beat this one. Um, the other one, I, I don't remember what box it's from, but oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. Um, and then you get your little bookish um, box, uh, 
book sleeve, sorry, to protect it. That's really nice. Okay, so this box was actually, okay, the items aren't things I normally use or keep, but I will say they were good items, and I love these cards so much. I'm um, really excited about that, actually. I don't know what the scarf is from, so I want to look at the spoilery card before. And then the candle. I love the candles. That was something else. Okay, let's see what this says. I want to see where they're from. So the scarf is... Oh, it's Serpent and Dove. It's from Serpent and Dove. Um, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's really beautiful. I don't use scarves. That's really beautiful. Um, I just use the, like, scarves for cold weather. And here you guys can see. I, I don't think you can really see who made what. That makes me sad. Uh, but the playing cards are from a court of thorns and roses. So that's cool. It has characters. Oh, now I want to open it because I need to know what it looks like. <laughs> so I'm going to open it to show you guys. Um, this video is going to be longer than I thought. Sorry. I'm just sorry I can't make that focus on the spoilery cards so people can get credit for what they did but um it's too small the print ah, i can't open this oh there we go i'm really curious about the deck of cards so oh here we go oh my goodness oh they all have characters oh that is so cool okay so they do all have characters they're just repeat characters i think i think um like the joker is the same character though but yeah that is really neat oh my goodness that is cool usually you only get you know the um royalty cards as like characters and then the rest are normally not but look at that these are really pretty wow these are really nice i'm impressed Okay, so that's everything for this box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.